Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the latest information about Starlink subscription in Nigeria. Okay, so I emphasize in Nigeria because I don't know about other countries. But then if you're having the same issues as the one we're having in Nigeria, you can email me and we're going to work through that problem together. We all know in the past few months, we have been having some difficulties using some service plans, especially the resident, which is widely used by many in Nigeria. So as of the time of making this video, the residence plan and the business plan has been resolved and they are now functioning effectively in Nigeria. But then we have a slight problem. Starlink, the satellite internet provider owned by SpaceX, has announced a significant price increase of its service in Nigeria. So this monthly service plan subscription fee has been increased by 90%. That is crazy. So the resident or the standard service subscription has now been increased from 38,000 or 22.8 equivalent in USD to 75,000 or 50 USD monthly. So for the roaming, it has now been increased from 49,000 to 29.4 equivalent in USD to 167,000 Naira or 100 equivalent USD every month. And for one of the popular use service plan in Nigeria, which is the business plan, fixed site is now 159,000 Naira every month. So additionally, not only that this service plans has increased, new styling kit has also experienced a price hike of 34%. You can imagine how crazy this is. So rising from its initial price of 444,000 Naira, or 263 equivalent in USDT to 590,000 Naira or 353 USDT equivalent. So for the current customers, that is those, uh, those people that are currently using the Starlink, the increase in these subscriptions will take effect from 27th of January 2025. While for new customers, the effectiveness of this subscription we start immediately. So let's navigate to their website. Let's see some of this from their site. Okay, so if you open up their site, Starlink, Starlink.com, so Starlink.com slash NG Nigeria. So like I said before, if you're having this same issue outside Nigeria, please, you can email me. We're going to walk through this together and I'm going to help you resolve the issues, okay? So, uh, starlink.com slash ng, which is Nigeria. Okay, so if you come to uh, resident here, okay, and we scroll down, now you can see the resident plan, all right? So this is best for household, and this is uh, 75,000 Naira every month, and it's unlimited. Okay, so if we go to business and we scroll down, fixed site. Okay, so there are different plans you have on that business. So, but the fixed site is the most used here in Nigeria. So, from here, you can see that the monthly subscription of this is 159,000 and also the kit is 590,000 Naira. Okay, so if we scroll down, we're going to see uh, the same thing here. So this priority uh, service plan is two gig. All right. Now, why business is more uh, uh, more preferable to residents is because of the high latency. So uh, if I should, okay, let me just try something before we end this video. So if you try to sign in, if you try to sign in a new kit, let me assume you have a new kit and you try to sign up on the Starlink. Okay, so I have one here. I'm going to sign in using uh, the identifier. Okay, so from here, I want to create a new account, right? Please, I'm not doing the Starlink installation. I just want to show you guys from uh, the service plan uh, part. Okay, so from this service plan part, you, you see that we have resident, we have room in business, land mobility, and uh, marine time. So if you input your location or the location of 
uh, the site you want to install the Starlink, you see the available service uh, here. Okay, you see the available service from this part. Okay, so let me assume I want to install this in this location. So I have this location and I paste it here. Okay, and I paste it here. So if I search, uh, it's not available. Okay. So remember your location must be accurate okay i have a video on how to search the best uh, location for your starlink installation so you can check out that video in my youtube channel okay so make sure that your address is valid okay so this address i use here is valid so if you can see that we have just resident and business plans so these are the two plans available now in nigeria I don't know when they will activate other plans, but for now, the resident and the business plan is what is available in Nigeria right now. So the resident, like I said, is now 75,000 Naira, while the business is 159,000 Naira. So I also told you guys the difference between the resident and the business plans. Now, if you are running a business, it's preferable you go for the business plan, okay? Because it has a public IP, high speed, priority service or priority support and also it has a high latency so using resident for business purpose might not give you exactly what you want so if you are running a business it's best advice that you go for business plan okay guys that will be all for this video so this is just like a breakdown of the latest information consigning the service plan of starlink in nigeria now some clients are experiencing uh, inactive in their service plan if you are having this kind of issue, you can also email me. We are going to walk through this problem and resolve it. All right. Thank you guys and see you in my next video.